being homeless? No. no. When you're homeless, you sleep when you can. You know, or you sleep when somebody allows you to sleep. You know, or you take a shower when somebody allows you to take a shower. But it is something that can happen to anybody at any given time. It happens. You know, it happens. I didn't really have much to fall back on as far as like education, job, stuff like that. You know, I mean, I never missed school. You know, but like, like I said, I never wanted to be homeless. The low point, she, she, mm, she basically, I want to say gave up, but gave me over to the Lord. You know, she, she told me, she says, I love you, I care about you, but I was really hurting her. Her worrying about me. Where is he now? What is he doing right now? Um, there was times where I, once, I wouldn't even call or speak to my mother for six months at a time because I was high. You know, how can you talk to your mother when you're, when you're high? And so now, whenever she calls me, I'm right there. Um, I can play a message on my phone that I got saved. Um, she called me up one day and she was like, hi, I'm just so proud of you. And, you know, you left them drugs alone and that you're doing very well. And I, I, I listen to it every once in a while, just, you know. And right now, she's very, very, very proud of me, you know. And she's like, this is my child, you know. This is, this is who you're supposed to be. Um, I want to still drive truck and truck. Even as a kid, even when I was playing basketball, I mean, I didn't dream of, of course, I wanted the millions of dollars, but I never wanted to, to do that. I wanted to drive from here to wherever and have a house in between so I can go from here, stop, <laughs> keep going, come back. That's where my family lives. I want a wife and kids, you know. Um, that's really it. Nothing, you know, flashier. I just thank God just for the Buffalo City Mission. Do you need to be here? Do you need to be here? You know, and I, I tell you, people just don't show up at the door just out of the blue. It's the reason that they're here. And this is a Christian-based facility, and we know that the Lord has sent you here because you was killing yourself out there and killing somebody else and not doing right by your family, and you need to come here to get, you know, reconnected, to put that change back in your life so that you can, you know, be the person that you're supposed to be. I think that's a good note to end it on. Well, I'm done then. <laughs>